Go to target. Preparing. Oh, it's been fixed. That's great. Here it says reducing speed until visibility improves. Straight away, cameras may be blocked. See it right there? I'm not sure what that message was. I'm gonna go back and zoom in on that. That was new. What's up everybody? Today's goal is to test actually Smart Summon on the latest version of full self-driving for hardware three vehicles, 12.5.4.2. In order to make this interesting, I am going to dial in a random destination. I have no idea where the car is going to take us. This way you know that it is not a planned route. It is not a known parking lot. This will hopefully be the first time that I will be testing in a specific parking lot. So what I'm gonna do is go into the navigate menu here and I am going to scroll over to say hungry because typically restaurants have parking lots. I found a good one. I'm gonna dial in Kitakata Ramen Banai. So this is destination E. I'm just gonna tap on it here and the car is going to load that location. And now that it's locked in, we can go ahead and take off it's a six minute drive to get over there we're going to put it into drive and take off i did survey my audience here previously and i found out that the vast majority whoa that was a really quick takeoff there a vast majority of you guys are already using full self-driving so that was interesting for me to kind of learn and now that i know most of you are using full self-driving i will kind of tailor my content more toward you guys just so that I'm not repeating a bunch of stuff that you know very, very well, because this is software that you use regularly. Here we get straight away, full self-driving may be degraded. It says poor weather detected. It will still operate. And I'm told that with the newer version of full self-driving, these bad or these poor weather alerts are minimized. You don't get them popping up as often. See, there it, come, there it comes again. Full self-driving may be degraded. This is a great test though while it's raining. Get a chance to see how actually Smart Summon operates. I don't know if we're going to get that message may be degraded inside of the car. Obviously when you're summoning the car, you're not going to see what the car's screen is displaying. But as you noticed right away when we took off, that message popped up pretty instantaneously because the rain's coming down at a decent pace here and the windshield wipers are on auto. You cannot turn those off while you're using self-driving. Okay, you can see the car kind of behind that blue truck there. And then here we go, we're gonna start it. Okay, it's reversing. There it is, I can see it. Here it comes. See it right there?
great, my ride is here. So I just let go of the button. It normally would stop if I didn't let go of the button. That worked out pretty well. Okay, one last test. We're gonna see if the perimeter works where you're next to a busy road. This was previously a limitation. I'm gonna take it to a parking lot that I know where I tested before, so I can see if that same limitation applies. We've got quite a bit of traffic on our left. We'll be looking out for all these cars, waiting for a gap, and you're gonna see this challenge is very hard because we need to get all the way over to that left turn lane in very short order. And we got lucky with the traffic. Let's see if it can pull this off. It needs to get way over there. And it's not going to. <laughs> way too late trying to do that. Now, I'm curious if it will try to squeeze its way in there when the traffic starts going. Now, this is where I would take over manually. Looks like that person actually gave me the opportunity to squeeze over there. This is the chance uh, and it's not going. So uh, you know what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is take over because that was the opportunity to go and we do need to go left here. This is the spot where it would always fail to operate. We're gonna see how it, how it does now. I am not anticipating that it has changed, but let, let us see. Inside of the app, you can see, first of all, I am on a very busy road. Let me just show you my camera. Well, I'm not on a busy road, but I have cars that are moving very quickly behind me. There, it's probably a 45 mile road. They call it a divided highway. This is Gulf Road. It's, it's quite busy, I would say. When I go to use the actually smart summon, I get this message. It says, uh, cannot use on public roads. Although I am clearly not on any public roads. In fact, you can see I'm in the middle of a parking lot. I'm right on the edge of some lines in this parking lot, uh, or at the far perimeter of the parking lot rather. So I should be able to use it within this parking lot, but obviously I cannot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press this forward and just have the car move itself forward here. So hold it down. The mirrors fold in. So we are now one row above where we were. So let's see now if we can use the target option. It says, cannot use on public roads. I'd say we are about a good 70 feet away from that road. We're not that close to it anymore. So really we should be able to use it from this parking space. So yet again, what I'm gonna do is, is run this again, and I'm gonna uh, fo go forward just a tiny bit more, and we're gonna see if we can then use it from the spot next to this one. So now let's take a look and see if we can use it. Now we can go to target. This is the busy road right behind us. It's basically like a divided highway, even though it's 45 miles an hour, it's a pretty busy road. So from here, what I'm gonna do is see if I can summon the car and we'll go to summon. What we're gonna do is specify target. You can see we're right there next to the road and I'm gonna tell it to go. Let's say somewhere over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna test it out. Go to target, preparing. Oh, it's been fixed. That's great. That is really, really great. Okay, that is new. It previously would not operate next to busy roads. So now we know that it is possible to do it next to roads like that. So that has changed. Stop due to public or high speed road. Oh, I take it back. So it actually paused now Let's see if it decides to go. Cannot use on public or high speed roads. Interesting, so it allowed me to start it, but as soon as I got to this area here, it then aborted. I'm gonna go back and see once again if that will work. Let's try it again here. Put it into park. 
and we'll keep the same target say go to target preparing it allows me to take off but as soon as it gets to that area there it's going to stop release to stop stop due to public or high-speed road okay so what I'm gonna do is take over again and I'm gonna test it now instead of right by the perimeter I'm gonna test it over here because previously I had to go over not just one row but two rows so this this spot right here previously would not work I could not turn it on from here Let's see if this allows me to do it. Okay, here we go. It's going in reverse. That's not what we want. Uh, it might be, okay, nope. Yeah, it's gonna get stuck in that same spot. Let's just see. There we go. So it used to, in the early stages of this release, it, it would jerk so suddenly, like my, my entire body would lurch forward. And you really put it to the test when you're actually inside of the car. That's when you really understand how it's truly operating. Because when you're outside of, outside of the car, you can't get a grasp of the acceleration or the deceleration or how it's avoiding obstacles. A lot of that stuff you just don't see very well. So if you've never tested Smart Summon or actually Smart Summon while sitting inside of your car, I highly recommend trying it out. It's a different experience and it's kind of fun because you can sit in the back seat and uh, if someone sees you, if your windows are down, for example, they're gonna be like, what is going on? This dude is crazy. Okay, now I'm three spots over. This is where it would operate before. Let's try it here again. This time it should go forward. Yes. So in this case, we're not going to be next to that public road and it should proceed all the way through to the destination. Right turn signals on, getting a little bit close to that curb. Well, not yet, but let's see. Feels comfortable. A car coming up right behind us now. It's going nice and slow. <laughs> No reason to go this slow. Maxing out at five miles per hour. I think the max is still six. And that car turned, thankfully. We should go all the way around. Oh no, it's gonna end right here. Stopped here suddenly. Reducing speed until visibility improves. It might be because of the rain. Not sure. Reducing speed until visibility improves. Okay, so that is due to the rain. We're not getting a degraded performance. We're getting a message related to the rain. Cameras may be blocked. Okay, that is new. So there is some recognition of the poor weather. However, it did operate just fine in that previous parking lot. But notice how it stopped here without blocking that road. I thought that was kind of interesting. Let's have it take us all the way around as far as we can to this other area here. See if we get the same thing. It's hardly raining at all so this is a little bit concerning because if it was a downpour i'm not so sure you'd be able to operate actually smart summon very curious for those of you who have tested actually smart summon in a downpour what your experience has been here it says reducing speed until visibility improves straight away cameras may be blocked it's not even allowing me to use it no message in the car related to this but my app is really complaining Try it again here. Okay, there it takes off. Windshield wipers went. Okay, it's pretty clean. I can see pretty well. Those wipers now speed up the minute I start moving forward with a little bit more speed.
And there we go, we have arrived. Pull over immediately. Ooh, what was that message? That was the first time I've seen that. I'm not sure what that message was. I'm gonna go back and zoom in on that. That was new. Never ever in my life have, this, have I seen that message before. So in summary, we had mixed results in rainy conditions. Actually, Smart Summons seems to have been improved a little bit for taking off from parking spaces next to busy roads. However, every so often it will stop due to poor weather. And even when it's not raining very hard, it still stops moving midway. Sometimes it won't even let you start. Other times it will. It's a little bit inconsistent. I'd have to test this probably 10 times to really get a feel for whether it's practical enough to use in rainy weather on a regular basis. Now, the worst thing would be to summon your car in a very busy parking lot while it's raining and then have the car just stop midway. Because what, what you would normally do in that situation is you would say, okay, I'm gonna start it again. And then if, it, if you try to start it again and someone's right behind your car and your car won't go and you're not aware that it's not going to go, then you're just gonna block that traffic for even longer. You're gonna get a lot of people building up and impatient and they're probably gonna get angry. So use this with caution in rainy weather. I need to do, like I said, a lot more testing to really feel comfortable using it in like a downpour situation, which that is probably the best use case for actually Smart Summon. But again, since everything is camera based, I'm not so sure it's possible. All right, I think we'll close it out from here. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, have a great day.